Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Mark Thackeray from Icarus Groups. Mark, how are you? Very good, thank you. How are you? Mark, I saw the Icarus Sun Mill online and I had to do an interview with you because it just looks phenomenal. Tell our audience what, you know, as this picture shows you, an Icarus Sun Mill is, please. So Icarus is a two engine motor design solution. We have our sun engine and have a kinetic drive. And what happens is the sun hits the uh, sun mill engine itself, that then starts moving, and then that's what can kickstarts the kinetic drive. That, coupled with water, which actually comes in and cools the system down, means that not only do we have clean water, we also have hot water, which is a byproduct. So I'm going to go right to your, your marketing deck where it says, it is Icarus is a modular off-grid perpetual energy generator for home, factory, farming, and beyond. 24 hours, 365 days. It looks very, you know, stunning versus those solar panels we put on our, our homes here in Canada. Can you tell us what was the inspiration for creating the Icarus Sun Mill? It came really from about two years ago. I was fundraising for a solution. And I was told that it cleaned water and also generated energy. And then I went to kind of quite a few different places that I knew would be wanting that technology. And then I was told the technology didn't work. So I kind of said, well, I've sold this now. I've got to create something. So I turned around to my, to my business partner, James, and went, James, we've got to make something new. And we just literally started from scratch, created this brand new technology, which is clean, green energy, and we built Icarus and we started with our small little pilot unit, which is now working. In fact, we're doing testing right now on the small unit. We have a full size unit now that's already been manufactured and we're ready to rock and roll. You talk about in your marketing deck about M powering, like M is in M and M's. Can you tell us what that means, please? The M is in basically the dimension, the times, the power output because this is a completely scalable solution. So you can have a small unit, you can have an industrial size unit. So it's completely flexible. But more important, what we're doing here with Icarus is we're future-proofing it. So when we move to Icarus 2 and Icarus 3, we can basically take that technology and basically put it into the initial unit of Icarus so that people are basically not bought into old technology that doesn't deliver anymore when it's 25, 30 years old. Okay, uh, a sun-driven generator, of course, is going to take off, in, is going to be explosive here in the United States and Canada. Um, can you tell us how fast we can get this to the market and what's happening in the process right now? Well, we're currently fundraising at the moment. So once we have that funding secured and in place, we then have to get the unit tested. So that will probably take about four to five weeks. But we're really looking at probably Q1 of next year where people can actually physically go and buy these units and have them installed in their homes or commercial properties. And can we talk about price, price range? <clears throat> the pricing, we're looking at around about the 18,000 euros, so around about $20,000 is where we initially starting. But that depends on what you really want from the system. We have a salt battery unit at the moment, which is included in the price. But you can get a much longer extended uh, salt battery pack. And obviously, that's more expensive. So, Mark, if I understand you correctly, these off-grid perpetual energy generators are attractive. You can put them in front of your house. Is They're so attractive. They're very new age. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. Why is it that Icarus Groups has been able to do what nobody else has been able to do? We just thought completely out of the box. We initially looked at how we could create the sun mill. And then the sun mill, we looked at that and thought the, the power output wouldn't be that sufficient. So then we had to create the kinetic drive and then we blended them together. And then we added obviously the, the salt battery in the base. But one thing we found very early on is that the temperature this thing can get up to is really quite scary. So therefore we needed a cooling mechanism. So that's why we take water, we clean the water, we demineralize the water, and then the water then goes through the, the system itself and cools it down and then goes into a hot water tank. So then again, that can be used for hot water in your homes or even air conditioning. It's a very modular kind of solution.
And there are some real advantages with this solar generator compared to, or the sun mill, as you guys like to call it, versus the solar panels. Can you can you walk us through that? Solar panels typically lose a lot of their energy throughout their life. So when a solar panel is typically nine years old, it's probably producing around about between 18 and 15% of the original power output. As with Icarus, ours is concurrent and it will last a lot longer. And all those solar technologies have evolved an awful lot. There's still negative things to happen with solar. It isn't really very dial sorry, um, it isn't diagradable and everything else. It's not energy, it's not green energy. Um, so I think that's one of the problems that we're faced with with solar. Also, they're not very nice on your roof. And if you have a fire, you can't put them out. As with Icarus, it will generate significantly more power. It's more modular and it's quite attractive to look at. And it's not as big and ugly, horrible things on your roof. So what do you think the market capitalization is for the Icarus Sun Mill? Quite frankly, it's endless. It goes into the way beyond billions of dollars. What we're doing now is we're not just creating Icarus, we're creating Icarus Marine, which is a portable unit for, for large uh, yachts and probably even bigger uh, substantial container ships. We're also looking at other areas where Icarus could be used. For example, space and in space technology. And you, you may think that's a bit crazy, but actually on the space station, it would be great because it cleans water, it heats the systems to keep the, uh, everyone warm and also generates a lot of energy. And it's easier to transport than having lots of uh, solar panels. So it's literally endless where it can go. It really is. So for everybody out there interested in finding out more about Icarus groups, please go to the following website. Thank you, Mark. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Take care now.